How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. And here at 2A News Now, I give you the Second Amendment news straightforward and to the point with no BS added in. A California County Sheriff won't allow concealed carry holders to carry with red dots, lasers, or pistol lights. A few months ago, the California Rifle and Pistol Association heard from a member that the Contra Costa County Sheriff, David Livingston, has some rather unique restrictions on the guns his office that will qualify for carry by residents in the county. If you're unfamiliar with California's ridiculous carry laws, applicants for a license must qualify with each specific firearm they intend to carry. Each handgun serial number appears on your carry license. Most counties will allow up to three firearms, but some only limit you to one. Sheriffs have wide latitude in what they will and won't qualify for carry. Sheriff Livingston won't qualify applicants if they attempt to qualify with a pistol that has a laser, red dot sight, or pistol light attached. But he does allow night sights. I'm going to post now up on the screen so you guys can see it. A page from the county's website. Step 4. Weapons, Training, and Range Qualifications. Weapons. The office of the sheriff allows a CCW license holder to list two weapons on the permit. Permits are issued to a person, but only for specific firearms. The weapons on the permit are reported to the DOJ. Following are the parameters regarding approved weapons. Prohibited firearms include any single action only firearms. This includes any semi-automatic handgun made by any manufacturer built on the Colt 1911 configuration. In contrast, semi-automatics, which fire the first round double action but successive rounds in single action are acceptable. Firearms with a striker fire mechanism, glocks and decocking levers, some Sig Sauer models are also acceptable. Prohibited firearms include derringers and any derringer variant. Firearms with attached laser lights, flashlights, red dots, and sighting systems are not acceptable. Glow in the dark or luminescent sights are acceptable. The firearm must have been commercially manufactured and of sufficient quality to safely fire. The applicant must have lawfully acquired the firearm. Firearms which have been modified including modifications to triggers, slides, safety mechanisms, and magazine releases are not approved. Acceptable firearms include revolvers or semi-automatics with a caliber of not less than 32 or greater than 45, no barrel lengths less than 1.875 inches, and no longer than six inches, minimum of five rounds. Fixed or adjustable sights, luminescent sights are acceptable. Add-on optics are not permitted. Weapons will be inspected for suitability by an officer of the sheriff range master at the time of qualification. And someone actually wrote to the sheriff asking him his rationale for these restrictions. And here's what he had to say. First of all, he won't budge on any of the policies. He says he has what they call a firearms committee that he consults on these questions. He said the committee is made up of employees with a wide range of backgrounds, all of whom are firearms instructors. The committee recommended against changing the policies. The reasons for excluding these accessories are, and these are a summary, not actual quotes. Permittees could use inferior accessories that aren't subject to vetting and could hinder the performance of the firearm. Number two, without proper training, the attachments can make a smooth weapon difficult to draw, endangering the individual in a deadly force encounter. And number three, the attachments may carry handguns, harder to conceal. It goes without saying, this reasoning is meritless. These attachments aren't an issue in the rest of California, or the rest of the country for that matter. If anyone has had a negative outcome in a defensive gun use situation due to these attachments, it certainly isn't a common occurrence. As to concealability, plenty of lights and lasers don't even add to the length of the pistol and don't affect the draw noticeably. There are a ton of holsters available that are specifically made with lights, lasers, and red dots in mind to ensure solid retention and a good draw. Plus the band attachments actually tend to enhance the safety by helping to ensure the individual hits the attacker and only the attacker, particularly in dark environments. The Contra Costa Department also doesn't allow single action firearms to be carried, such as the very popular 1911 platform and its smaller variants. This may be something to be looked into legally in the future, 
Sheriff Livingston and his firearms committee are full of shit. There is most likely hundreds of thousands of people in America who carry their concealed weapon with one or more of these accessories. And why is it that it's only this county in California that doesn't allow these accessories? It really does make you wonder, doesn't it? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below what you think of the sheriff's policy. And if you guys could please do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, or if I gave you some information you didn't know, or if you would just like to help the channel out and help it grow, please take a few seconds of your time to like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And I invite everybody back to watch my next video.